So hello and welcome back to Kumadis Coins and Banknotes and in today's video I'm going to introduce you to the current coins of Tanzania which have been used in 2024 and all these coins were issued in different time periods. So we have the 50, the 100, the 200 and the 500 shillings and the current exchange rate is 1,500 shillings so you need three of these coins to equal one Australian dollar. So you can see all these coins are different sizes. Uh, if I put them all together, the thickness of these coins varies as well. So the thickest one is the smallest denomination, which is 50. And the thinnest one is the 200 shillings. So... As you can see, the 50 shillings is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Seven sided. So it's the same type of coin that they use. It's 50 pence in the in, uh, UK. I was going to say New Zealand. Uh, the 50 toa in Papua New Guinea. Uh, whatever country uses this design. Oh, there's actually a few others, but I just can't remember offhand okay so the animals on this coin is well obviously it looks like a black rhino uh yeah it is a black rhino and it's the same one that is uh issued on the zimbabwe coin i think that was i can't remember the, oh, that's right the five dollar yes so i should have it somewhere uh, I don't know, got South African pre decimal coins and ah, damn that, got the Moroccan coins there. Okay, now we're getting distracted. So, okay, on the 100 shilling, we have Impala, on the 200 shilling, we have a lion. So, I've got a male and female lion, and you can see. This coin has Swahili on it, which is an indigenous language around that region. Most likely the cultural area. Uh, and the 500. I'm not too sure. I need to look up the animal. Okay, so that's a African buffalo or Cape buffalo. And the good thing about this one is it has an added security feature in which it has uh, 50 shillings and the BOC Bank of Tanzania. So you can also learn Nia Tano Shilling. So that means Nia, probably five. We can check it out here. Um, Sini, oh, maybe not. Uh, so Nia, Nia looks like it's a hundred. Tano is probably five or fifty. Mobili, two. Majo one news probably a hundred. So um Sini. So yeah, I'm getting a bit confused uh with that actual denomination. I uh, heard the number. So just look it up on a you can probably find it in the Wikipedia article on Swahili. Okay, so on the back we have various people. So the 50 has Hassan Mouinyi and it seems that this guy was the first, no, the president between 1985 and 1995 so that's why his face is on this coin and also the earlier coins his face is on as well but the earliest coins that they issued he has a uh, race for Tanza. Oh, I think that's his name. Okay, the 100 shilling. We have this guy. Mwalimu Julius Noeri. And I think he might have been... Oh, he was... He might have been the actual... Uh, president of uh, Zanzibar and 
Okay, so, oh no, this guy's the president of Zanzibar, the first president. Race Wakanazawa Zanzibar. Okay, and she's named Sheikh Abid Amani Kurumi. Okay, so I'll put you his name. And he's also on the 500 shillings, so they didn't change the actual portrait. Would have been good to put someone else on there. Uh, who done a good contribution to Tanzania? This guy is probably just the first president, I would say, of Tanzania. Uh, I think I read a little bit about him. He was a dictator. Okay, so... Uh, as for the values, obviously the 50 shilling, it's not really going to buy you that much. So uh, the 50 shilling is a plated coin. It's a brass plated steel, 7.91 grams, 22 millimeters. The 100 is 9 grams, 24.5 millimeters of brass plated steel. So these two are the same type of denominations. The 200 is nickel brass, 8 grams, 26.9 millimeters. And the 500 is a nickel plated steel, 9.5 grams, 27.5 millimeters. So, there's only one coin in this series that is not made out of steel in part, and that's 200 shillings. Okay, as for the issuance, when they were first issued. So the first issue of the 100 shillings was 1993. Then in 96 they issued a the 50 shillings. In 98 they issued the 200. In 2014 uh, they issued uh, the 500 shillings. And pretty much in the last coin issue was the 2019 500 shillings. And the reason why they issued this coin before the 50 was they had other denominations in circulation. So they had the yeah, 1, 5, 10, 20 shillings already in circulation. So I don't have the 5 out. I'll need to actually get it out. And I'll make another video on these. So they had other denominations in circulation. But as inflation reduced the value of the currency... They had to issue a hundred. And obviously they need to fill the gap. So then they issued a 50 shillings. So pretty much in 1996. Uh, these were the denominations. And as inflation increased. They actually had to issue these other coins. So apart from the one shilling. The five to five hundred shilling. They did have a banknote. And uh, these coins, uh, well, if you go to Tanzania, which not many Australians do, probably not many Americans or Europeans do, because the country's fairly out of the way, uh, you can actually get these in circulation. So don't get confused when you go to Tanzania with these coins. Okay, so what would you be paying? I see that probably the 500 you'll be paying... Uh, between five and ten dollars. Actually, no. There's a whole set here of these coins. Is it four dollars seventy nine American? So it's probably about seven dollars Australian. So basically, you can pick them up for less than ten dollars, which is a lot cheaper than when I actually got that coin. Uh, I would say about five years ago. Anyway, hope this helps you with tenants and neon coins. I haven't made this video before. Should have made this years ago. Uh, so later on, I'll be making videos about the older coins of Tanzania. Especially the first coins issued in 1966. But I am missing some denominations. If anyone can help me out. Uh, yeah, thank you very much. And have awesome coin and banknote collecting time. Thank you and goodbye.